it's a packed house tonight here for Cuttings Night of Nights, the 2015 NCHA Futurity. We had a field of 24 of the world's top trainers and horses vying for $200,000 of prize money. And the man of the hour was Ed Duff Arena, who took it out with a 225 on Stevie Ray Vaughan. Congratulations to you, Ed. Well, thank you very much. Very much. How are you feeling right now knowing that you are the 2015 NCHA Futurity Champion? Well, I mean, obviously it's a dream come true. I think that's what all of us competitors aspire to. And to be blessed with such a horse like Stevie Ray Vaughan that is that good, it made me look that good. I had nothing to do with it. It's, it's all that horse. He's special. Okay. Take us through your run, cow to cow, blow by blow, what you were feeling and how it was playing out. Well, you know, I have a great team around me, uh, R.L. Chartier and Michael Cooper in my corner, Phil Rout and Brandon Dufferin out front. And, you know, we had a plan of the cattle that we thought we were going to cut, and we went and executed that plan. And I was able to get to him clean, and, and the rest was a horse. I never touched him in the middle of that. He was that dynamic. And every time I turned around, Michael or R.L. had my cow right there for me. It just fit. You, I couldn't orchestrate it any better. Tell me, in the lead up to this event, how was the horse developing? What were you feeling and thinking? Well, you know, I've been around just long enough to kind of know what a good horse is. And I always thought he was special. I knew he was different. I didn't really start to realize that this horse has a real shot at being an NCHA fraternity open finalist until about the pre-works. And we started going and putting him in those show situations. And not that I ever put together a great full run, but there was moments of brilliance, moments of what we've seen tonight. Yeah. Now, this horse has had a lot of runs at the show because Rietta won the limited non-pro and also went through to, I think, the, the non-pro finals. Is that the right? Semis. The semis. So a lot of runs for this horse. And at the very end of 24 days of, you know, competing to put together a 225, what can you say about this horse? Tell us about, you know, what makes this horse special. If that don't attest to integrity, I don't know what does. But, you know, it was almost a blessing. That horse got better every run. Uh, and he's the type of horse, being a stud and being strong, that he was able to take that many runs, nine or ten runs, whatever it's been. Uh, he don't take a lot of loping. Like we, I was first the other day in the second go-round. We brought him in. His herd changed, tried him around for 15 minutes and showed him. So, you know, he's sound-minded. So he was able to take that better than maybe some other horses would. Uh, but at the end of the day, i got to say, it helped him. He kind of made that transition from a three-year-old we're trying to get through a run to a, sh a show horse. So just at the you know very last horse, John Mitchell came out. He was obviously really trying, gunning for it and, and going for it. He lost a cow at the very end. How were you feeling with the crowd, you know, getting excited? What, what were you going through at that point? Well, I, I'd made a, a plan and a decision myself. I was going to come try and do my job, execute the fundamentals well, and, and if anyone come and beat me, congratulations. Now, I'm obviously watching that unfold. Johnny had a fabulous run started on a great Slate River horse. Uh, so you, we all want to win, but I, I definitely was okay with winning second if he come and beat me because I love this industry and the great horses and great people that it breeds. What does it mean to come out here in front of a packed house and win in the Will Rogers? Well, you know, it's exciting, and obviously all of our egos, I guess, kind of like it, but it at the end of the day, for me, this is about developing and promoting horses and to give this young stallion that I really believe in, I think he's special, a chance to, to maybe go out and make his impact on the industry. You, have, you really have to have a major win in this building to do that, to give those horses a shot. So we were so blessed to get it done the first time out. I, I'm ecstatic. A successful show for the family and for the horse. Well done. Um, great result and um, congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it.